Hello and welcome back. In this original Black Excellence presentation, we will highlight Ronald E. McNair, NASA astronaut. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Physicist Ronald Irwin McNair was America's second Black astronaut and one of seven crew members on board the Space Shuttle Challenger explosion January 28, 1986. The flight would have been his second voyage in space. Although his death and those of his crew members were a national tragedy, this is not what distinguished him. McNair exemplified a life that knew no obstacles. He excelled academically despite the racial discrimination he experienced growing up in the South during the 1950s and 1960s. Later in 1984, he broke the bonds of Earth as a scientist aboard the 10th Space Shuttle mission. In this original Black Excellence presentation, we will highlight Ronald E. McNair. Ronald Irwin McNair was born October 21, 1950 in Lake City, South Carolina. His mother taught elementary school and his father was an automobile mechanic. While in junior high school, a young Ronald was inspired to work hard and persevere in his studies by his family and by a teacher who recognized his scientific potential and believed in him. Ronald graduated as valedictorian from Carver High School in 1967. As valedictorian of his class, as well as a talented football player in high school, Ronald received offers of sports and music scholarships to attend Howard University. However, he turned these down for his first love of science and accepted a science scholarship to North Carolina Agricultural and Technical University in Greensboro, North Carolina, where he graduated magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in Physics. McNair then enrolled in the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, where he earned his PhD in laser physics in 1976 at the age of 26. Dr. McNair was also presented with an honorary doctorate from North Carolina A&T State University in 1978, an honorary doctorate of science from Morris College in 1980, and an honorary doctorate of science from the University of South Carolina in 1984. While working as a staff physicist with Hughes Research Laboratory in Malibu, California, Dr. McNair soon became a recognized expert who developed skills in laser physics. His academic and professional achievements were stellar. He held the distinctions of being a presidential scholar from 1971 to 74, a Ford Foundation Fellow from 1971 to 74, a National Fellowship Fund Fellow from 1974 to 75, a NATO Fellow in 1975, and Omega Sci-Fi Scholar of the Year. He also was named Distinguished National Scientist by the National Society of Black Professional Engineers. But McNair was not just a lab rat. He was a sixth degree black belt in karate and an accomplished saxophonist. Because of his many accomplishments, he was selected from a pool of 10,000 applicants for the NASA Space Shuttle Program in 1978. Ultimately, he would experience his first space shuttle mission that was launched successfully from Kennedy Space Center on February 3, 1984, making him only the second African American to fly in space. McNair was mission specialist aboard the flight with four other crew members who logged 191 hours in space on the eight-day mission. Two years later, he was selected to serve as mission specialist aboard the ill-fated U.S. Challenger space shuttle. He was killed instantly when the Challenger exploded one minute 13 seconds after it was launched. Dr. McNair was posthumously awarded the Congressional Space Medal of Honor. On January 28, 1986, members of Congress provided funding for the Ronald E. McNair post Baccalaureate Achievement Program. The program's goal was to encourage low-income and first-generation college students and students from historically underrepresented ethnic groups to expand their educational opportunities by enrolling in a PhD program and ultimately pursue an academic career. This program is dedicated to the support and promotion of the high standards of achievement inspired by Dr. McNair's life. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. 
Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.